Hello everybody, welcome to the Ketchup Cafe, where I catch up with old friends, new friends, or myself. Um, so before we start, um, today I'm just enjoying some treats from local vendors in Vancouver. So I got um, some Hong Kong style milk tea from uh, a brand called Thirst Tea. I don't know if any of you heard of it. And then we got this Japanese style bun in matcha flavor from like a local local bakery called Canadel. Um, but yeah, the reason why I wanted to try these out, obviously, you know, to support local and also like a goal of mine is to you know to create a community um to create a community who prioritizes supporting each other um the reason why i wanted to try these out is obviously you know to support like local hashtag support local but also you know a goal of mine is to create a community who prioritizes like supporting each other so this is like the least that I can do so I hope all of you you know will choose to support those local businesses in your neighborhood um, but yeah just gonna try this out this milk tea mm. I can already like smell the the really fragrant tea before drinking and it's nice because it's not too sweet and I'm gonna try this um, matcha bun hmm it's like sugary coated on the outside with like a thick layer of like like the filling is like on the exterior and then the inside is just um, plain bun, fluffy bun. Mm. Nice. A little afternoon tea. I mean, it gets really dark here now, very early. So, you know, usually this would be, um, you know, a nice afternoon tea but I had to turn on all the lights so it's a after hours edition but yeah here we are um first episode of 2021 I'm not gonna say it but I will say new year but same me um not really about that new year new me thing same me same pursuit um, just trying to be better than the me I was yesterday but I'm always open to you know immersing myself in I guess different perspectives trying out different routines or you know just improve the ones that I have now but I think one thing I really want to focus on is to you know introduce more discipline into my everyday life it's, it's not that like I don't have discipline right now it's just you know sometimes I find you know, falling into you know temptation like you know just bad habits um, especially when I'm stressed like I spoke about this you know during you know with other episodes how to like figure out you know better coping mechanisms with you know like the everyday life and everything but you know it's a stressful world but um, sometimes I fall short and, you know, I go into like my little hole or, you know, I just tend to indulge in things that, you know, aren't the best for me. And I feel like this cycle is just, you know, it's not the greatest for growth. And that's something I do want to, you know, constantly engage with is, is growth and, you know, being better. Like I obviously have a lot of... Um, shortcomings like you know I'm not the best at dealing with emotions and just take a longer time to process things maybe but um yeah I'm interested to you know find some answers along the way 
but you know, I, I know a lot of people are probably doing cleanses or diets or, you know, new workout plans, which are all good, you know, like good for you. Um, and, you know, like keep doing that, like you do you. But for me, I guess I just wanted to challenge myself like on the path. It's like, you know, it's not because it's a new year. It's just it got to a point where I realized you know, um, the routine and the habits of engaging with certain things kind of got unhealthy. Um, so yeah, I want to try something new, something small, something different. And I decided to try out, you know, um, fasting from Instagram and just take some time off to, you know, refocus my pursuit as a creative um you know I just I decided to take time off and you know take the attention off of consumption but I just wanted to ask myself and reflect like what what does this platform mean to me and you know I didn't I didn't really want to come off as like drastic like something drastic or significant like it's not like a you know like it's nothing to declare but I just wanted to see what I could gain from it like you know like there's no harm in trying to uh, you know step away from it so so I did it and I'm on that journey right now like I'm in the process of it uh, I mean technically it's over but you know um, I just want to see if maybe like I need to continue this or you know set some boundaries or limits Um, but it's been very rewarding and beneficial to you know my everyday thoughts, routine, and it just got me thinking, you know, for the future, how do I want to, like, engage with it? And honestly, I don't really have a clear answer, like, I don't know, but, you know, through this, um, just want to find some clarity, um, but, yeah, I still don't have any concrete answers, um, Or like an analysis of like, you know, what, what it did to me and, you know, whatever. But I think, um, this recalibration though, helped me focus on, you know, the world outside the digital world. And, you know, don't get the wrong idea. It's not that I, you know, I think the digital world is, is a bad thing. Like, it's a great world to, you know, find new inspiration But I just think, you know, sometimes the perspective we choose to look through when we are, you know, browsing in the digital world can can suck us in. And I think it deters me from, you know, uh, manifesting the reality I actually want. And, you know, um, so, yeah, this this time away um, from like, you know, the digital world you know brought me closer to ideas and goals that you know I actually want and you know it takes the distracting distractions away um and yeah hopefully it'll bring growth and healing um but more importantly it just taught me to be more grateful for the moments that that are in front of me because honestly like you know the word contentment has been on my mind like a lot lately um you know i've tried to drown myself in in the actions that i can take to you know lead up to to this word or even like you know a mindset change that i had to dive deeper to search for like what does contentment mean what does it mean to be content and you know, I, I find maybe one of the reasons I wasn't feeling all that, 
I'm content even when you know I should be 100% grateful for you know, every nook and cranny of blessing in my life but I think maybe it just comes down to like me choosing to be lazy about it like me not doing anything proactive um, to look at the bright side like even though maybe I come off you know always looking at the positive things or like the positive parts of life but I think that's just um, the voice that I'm telling myself and I just so happen to voice that to to the world but honestly like I'm on this journey to like figure out like the light um, because if I don't I get lazy and I usually just see the dark Um, and so you know I would go into a spiral of existentialism like you know like you can call me dramatic but like I would question like why am I here and what's the point and why is it so hard to just you know be content and honestly these are very first world questions and I'm not proud and I'm not happy that I'm asking them and this is why I need this like you know self-reflection because like there shouldn't be a reason why I'm not content but I'm figuring out solutions, I'm figuring out um, ways to to guide myself to that path where um, I'm, you know, like I should be eternally grateful for everything, but but somehow like sometimes the human side of me just gets the worst and and I fall short. And so I think I have the responsibility to take ownership to um, you know, figure out, um, what works, and I think, you know, sometimes time away from, you know, for example, digital world or whatnot just brings me back closer to, you know, what's in front of me, and there's so much to be thankful and happy for, like, you know, health, family, um, friends, shelter, food, like, the list goes on, and, um, yeah, um, but yeah, uh, I don't know how I stumbled upon, like, a talk, like, online, uh, and the talk was about, you know, having a choice of choosing to be less crappy and be more happy, and honestly, this is a good reminder of, like, a reference point, which was, 2020 for me um you know like that's when I started this podcast like that's when I had like self-realization and reflection but I also you know had to do a lot of research um um regarding I guess things that I need to fix in my life you know I had to face my fears and face problems and I put a lot of effort into finding solutions and I guess maybe recently I plateaued, I don't know, and maybe complacency took over. So maybe like this dip right now um, is a wake up call that that I have to, you know, get back on track to figure out what works for me even more. Like I think maybe that was just the beginning of this path of like healing and you know like bettering myself like the reason why I need to better myself is because if you know if I can't help myself how can I help others and if my passion and goal is to you know leave this world you know with a little bit of impact like me positive impact and maybe like you know help whoever I can like with you know my abilities um like I need to help myself first um so yeah there's a lot I can still learn and improve on like for the lifetime to come like honestly like it doesn't it doesn't stop and um you know, I don't know 
where you guys are at um, on your path um, during you know this year like everyone you know keeps talking about how this year's gonna be the year or um, it's gonna be better but honestly it's just the continuation of you know life um, I think it's constant so you know it doesn't it doesn't change much like I think for me um, I need to you know find ways that work and honestly like I just want to enjoy enjoy the moments and I think one thing that I keep bringing up to myself is just have some fun like don't take everything too seriously and don't take yourself too seriously like what I'm trying to say is like I'm not I'm not you know I don't want to be irresponsible but I think um, the importance of just you know making the little moments count and appreciating the little things in life um, and then just like you know like when things get intense just step back and just know that this is just a small piece of the puzzle like um, it's you're gonna get through um, like I think I always um, overthink things and I um, I get stuck in a loop um, because uh, you know I I like to see things big picture, but then I, I get stuck in like the moment where I'm like, I, I feel crappy. How do I, you know, get out of this? And then, you know, now I'm trying to like think about this even in a bigger picture. I'm like, you're so silly for being um, so existential about this small thing. Like, get over it. Um, and also that comes with, um, you know, personalities. Like, I tried last year to be less emotional about things. And I think, as you know me, if you know me, uh, I'm naturally like a very emotional person. And yeah, it was nice to, you know, for once be less emotionally involved and just deal with things more practically and logically. But Sometimes um, I realize I'm human and I have my moments so and it's okay so you know for everyone out there like also we're our own worst critic so I don't know like be less harsh on yourself like I guess it's hard it's hard for me to say that because I'm just thinking about it, I'm like, oh. um, but yeah, I was reading something the other day and they, they said something along the lines where like, we always um, um, think of people as like not doing their best and like that's why we expect more from others, but why can't we think along the lines where pe everyone's just trying their best, including ourselves. So like give everyone more credit and give yourself more credit like we can only handle as much as you know we can um, so I think um, I need to engage in, engage in that thought a bit more um, but yeah And so, you know, when I say New Year, say me, you know, the goal will never change because growth is constant, as I said. And it should be an everyday pursuit. Um, and yeah, staying true to my passions has been one thing grounding my thoughts and actions. Um because you know honestly it's it's the easiest thing to do naturally 
like growth is not so easy because you know that requires discipline but you know if you choose to do something you love constantly i think you know this can lead to you know contentment and through this feeling like good feeling of you know contentment it will nurture you know the ability to to grow and you know be a better person you know hopefully but you know for everyone out there who's you know trying something new or not there's i don't think going to be a moment where everything makes sense or you know everything you're going to feel like you've accomplished life i just think supporting each other on you know our journeys to be better humans is probably going to make the world a better place so you know this is probably not your goal but it's one of mine um so help me help you um you know and yeah keep doing you while i'll work on me but you know i just wanted to pop in a quick little you know hello episode um and yeah just i'm in the process of working working on myself so you know you're welcome to come along this journey with me but you know if if not that's totally fine but yeah i just want to wish everyone like a good year like regardless um of what will happen uh let's just you know do this year together um anyways um yeah uh so yeah i'll see you in the next one then Bye.